They combine South African and Mozambican sounds in their music. They're currently one of the hottest bands in the Republic, and they call themselves Something Strange. Two of the band members, guitarists Ian Robbins and Mez, are right here in the studio to talk to us. Gentlemen, welcome to Showbiz News. Now, let's start with you, Ian. Why did you guys call yourself Something Strange? That's strange in itself. Well, uh, when I met Mos uh, Mensa in Mozambique uh, last year, a band constituted, composed of myself from South Africa, Mansa from Mozambique and Duff from America, which is a fairly strange combination at the time, <laughs> so it seemed to fit the profile. Yeah. And now, Mansa, please just come to us what, what type of music you guys play. Uh, we play like different kind of things like rock and roll, blues, a little bit jazz, mm. reggae, mm. and African music also. Mm. How, come, how come you guys are playing tomorrow at the University of Johannesburg? What, what's the event? Uh, well, Lucky Latule, who's helping us to get our music um, college in Mozambique off the ground, um, we told him we were coming up to Joburg, and he said, well, let me organize you a gig, and here we are. So you're performing in Mozambique? Yeah. Already? Oh, oh, talk to us about that, Mess. Where were you yeah. performing? We perform in Mozambique in Tofu. It's a place, it's a tourist place. It's Tofu? The, Tofu? The north Mozambique. of Mozambique? It's from, capital is 500 kilometers to yeah, there, yeah. and it's next to the sea, yes. and there's a lot of tourists around there. We used to play in the lodges like that, and the people was lucky, the music here, mm. right? and around the fire also. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> have you guys recorded anything? We have done one demo track so far, and while we're up here in Joburg, we're planning on doing a couple more. Mm. So you're literally looking for a recording deal, is that it? At some point, it'll be great, but at the moment, we're happy to be independent. We're doing really well at the moment in the way we are, and mm. not having a label telling us what to do is fantastic. Okay, because you can always have your music on, online as well. Yeah, for sure. That's what, that's what they say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you guys preparing something for 2010? Because we're going to have lots of tourists coming to South Africa next year. Yeah, for the we, have, we, we have like a bomb. <laughs> something, <laughs> yeah, something strange. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if the people are going to like it, but I think so. So you say you play rock and roll and a bit of marabent, I should think? Yeah, marabent and afro ah. music. Like, it's not only marabent, it's mixed marabent and afro. Mm. It's like uh, afro mm. music is African. African language mixing. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, Ian, you spoke about you guys making your own guitars. Tell us about that. Well, um, I work for a company in Cape Town, uh, Brian Fan is sort of the mastermind, and he's, as far as I'm concerned, uh, one of the best leaders in the country. Um, he's made both of these guitars, which are made out of African mahogany. That's and there's a maple top, they're hollow inside and sound absolutely fantastic. Uh, you should check them out. We make custom guitars for people and basically make. For all over the world, we've got clients in Norway, Sweden, America. Oh, no wonder you don't need a recording deal. <laughs> because you guys are, have made it already. <laughs> You're not struggling in this, you know, depressed economic situation that we find ourselves. Well, we have a lot to be grateful for, and we're pretty happy, guys. So we make, you know, music that reflects that. Yeah. So what's, what does the future hold for Something Strange? We're supposed to play more, to record more, and play more gigs around, and to mm. travel.